<laughs> Another part of the channel. <laughs> Getting fooled up when you're trying to say something. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, you. You ready to go on a big trip? some deep snow on the road. I see where someone was in before me so I'm hoping we're gonna make it to our spot here. Wait and see what happens. Well hello everybody. Finally made it touch and go there at the end of it I didn't think we we're going to get in here I heard the road was open and uh, you can see where there was at least a couple people came ahead of us here but there's still a ton of snow up in this area a bit cooler I guess and get a lot more ice and snow up here anyway this is Lobstick for those people who have never been here before I'm sure lots of the people who watch this channel have been here many a times and it's a good spot to come in the beginning of the year uh, there's a lot of water on right now is the only thing and reports are Not that good actually yet anyway But the weather's warmed up. It's a beautiful day Wanted to get the camper out Pump give her a try for just later on the summer. So We're up here to enjoy the day enjoy the evening Do some fishing Hopefully get some fish Big or small It's gonna be a certain size up here, and I'll tell you all about that later on Anyway, let's get those hooks in the water. Man, oh man, what water, what water. Oh, we're just getting them by the water here. A couple of people here before us, they had some luck. They got a fish too, I think, already. So, uh, yeah, that's a promising sign. We'll get our hooks in the water now too and see what happens. Oh, that lady seems to be Having good luck today. You got one there. Nice. It was our turn. Hey, widow, widow pan. Well, that woman just caught the lake trout there, but it was a half inch too short. Up in these parts here, these waters, uh, all the lake trout have to be 60 centimeters or larger. And uh, it's kind of a classic game to get them just a little bit too short here, you know? So you gotta throw them all back. but. Anyway, there's a, it's there for a reason, and uh, it helps conserve the fish population, so uh, we're happy to abide by it. First of all, we gotta catch a fish, so. <laughs> if you can't catch a fish, you can't measure anything, can you? What's taking you so long? I don't know. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. What a beautiful fish, buddy. That's one to be proud of, eh? That's one the wife got. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Usually good. it's the other way around. He says other way, right? Yes, I had not good luck at all the other day. No. Yeah. And the day she caught well, she got three of them. Three yes. Of them. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, but I will take credit that I taught her everything she knows. There you go. <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> oh, a wonderful couple. Always know you should know when you're fishing in a spot like this, you never know if you'll run across. When you meet people like that, eh? You find out a bit about them and it's just nice. You know, you instantly got a couple of people that you recognize you the time you bump into them or whatever. So they're left now. And uh, they did best in this spot right here. You see that the fast water runs out here. It kind of gets quiet in here. I've been up here too when there's been less water. And there's a couple of big pools right here, right? So I think, uh, give Melanie that spot now. She'll uh, have a few flicks there and hopefully she's as lucky as the last people were. So 
move to another spot. A uh, bit of a long walk there. Melanie just had foot surgery, so she can't walk very far at all, actually. So uh, I can make two trips. One trip to bring her down. I'll run back and get the, the fishing gear now. So all in the run of a day. We'll get your fish down here. All right, we're on the other side of the structure now. Fish along this uh, smoother water right here first. You're not allowed to go too close to the structure there, so we're nice, nice and safe here legally outside of the outside of those limits. So here we go. Give her a try right here. What do you got there? Give me that stick you. He's a keeper. 64 centimeters. Woohoo! Now, a good thing about May in Labrador is there's still lots of snow and ice around in places. And it serves well to serve that fish now. Centimeters, which means you got to go back. There you go, buddy. Nice one, eh? Okay, you might have to bring it over to the left there. Take your time, let the tire out number. Yeah, that's a good job. Bring it in here now. Reel in a bit. Yeah, let him go on. Let him go around that rock. He wants to go around the rock. Let him go. Yeah, bring it over to the left. Now, now's the time. Bring it over to the left. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Slowly bring in. Yeah, there you go. Increase your drag a little bit, love. Yeah, okay. All right, come on in this way. Come on in. No, it's still down too far yet. Let him turn around. There you go. There you got him, buddy. Woohoo! Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. That's going to be a keeper for sure, I think. Beauty fish, thick down through, you know. All right, let's give her a measure here. Oh yeah. 66. It's bigger than the one I got. 66. Hmm. I have to throw that one back. You beat me. What a beautiful fish. Oh, oh man. Awesome. That'll be good in the smoker. Ah, I think we smoked that one, eh? Yeah. Beauty sized fish. Good, Willow. Good, my Yeah. What's like that? We'll eat that one. Big butt. Are those three nice fish? 
beautiful winter. I'm gonna go back now and find a spot and uh, cook up some supper. You hungry? You're always hungry. look inside for those who haven't seen her before this is a palomino bronco 1251 got some cupboard space here fridge here stove sink hot water on demand she has an uh, uh, electric and gas uh, regulated uh, heater system inside cd player uh, queen size bed right here and this part here Folds down to another bed. If you look back here, this is actually a bathroom and a shower. So it was a neat little rig. And our home for tonight. The best knapsack I've ever owned. Stay tuned for your chance to win one. fire starting bundle that uh, Kirk North of 51 on YouTube gave me. I use it a few times on special occasions and this video and today is a special occasion so thanks again Kirk. Check him out on YouTube Kirk North of 51. It's a little bit of basswood there. Highly flammable get it here. I think someone actually sent it to Kirk. Now, a lot of you guys have seen me light fires on my channel. It's a Mora light my fire knife. You got the fire starter, the steel, everything in the handle. And it works really well. Just like that. I want to cook a nice supper on this winter well fire pit now. I can't wait. It's one thing I never thought about, you know, when I started this YouTube channel of all the people you'd meet, YouTube friends. People have sent me so much stuff over the years for me and my family and Willow, stuff like that. Good stuff. I'm waiting for that fire to, uh, Make a nice bit of coals there now. I used my drone a nice bit today and I plan to use it again tomorrow. And I got this new power pack from Trek Pow. You guys should check them out. I'll put a link in the video description. I really like it, eh? It's uh, nice and neat, compact, light. And I use a lot of batteries, whether the GoPro, my drone, Whatever my computer from editing, take along this little thing here, turn it on, one touch button right there, got a digital display, showing full power there now. Let me 
she is charging up my batteries so give that an hour or so my batteries will be all freshly charged for in the morning as well there's a wireless phone charger right on top here i use my phone for taking pictures sometimes for my videos just lay it right on top and it starts charging another cool feature on the back has a light back there with different settings for if you're on the road for hazard or whatever or to signify danger but you can just use it there for light up your camper or your tent it's a neat little package i must say again it's called trek pal check them out it burns down now we're going to put on the main dish i think you suspect that supper is about to be cooked yep never far away again guys this company makes this fire pit it's called winter well i'll put a link in the description as well Another flying company that I have dealings with because uh, I started this YouTube channel. You got to go in here now. I have some rice to make some brown rice and I have some mushroom and onions on the go. Hmm, rice, mushrooms, and onions. Seems to me that would go well with a steak. How is that for a sear? It's pretty much done. D U N. Go. Okay, I'm not quite sure which is which here, but now look at that now after all day. You're not gonna be good. I know. Unreal. If any of you haven't tried outdoor cooking like that on an open flame like that, you've got to try it because you can't mimic it. It's its own unique taste. Friends, we're eating this delicious supper now, guys. I'm gonna time for a little chat. So this is my twenty thousand subscriber video 20,000 people you guys have watched my videos and have subscribed or became a member of the channel whichever way you want to look at it which blows my mind by the way because what you see what we're doing here really is what we do all the time and to film what we're doing here and to re-watch it at another time, or even during the editing process, it just puts me right back here again. And this is where I want to be. So putting up on YouTube is just kind of a, a bonus and everybody kind of wins, you know. So now what does that mean, 20,000 subscribers? Well, it doesn't mean anything other than a number, really. I'm very happy that it reached that number and it continues to grow all the time. And it tells me that you guys like the content and you want to see more of it. I film when I'm doing something. And if I don't do anything interesting, I just don't film. You haven't seen a video now um, from me for a little bit. And it is summertime. I'm really busy at my regular job. Uh, like I was a conservation officer all those years. And now I specialize in wildlife control for the province. So it's a really busy time of the year. But uh, when I'm off, this is the kind of thing I like to do. So as I mentioned before, I've met a lot of people. I've never seen some of you guys, but I know the regulars, the people who always comment on my videos and I recognize the names. And again, I can't respond to every comment. I get a lot of comments per month, but I read every single one of them. And it warms my heart, you know, to see that people from all over the world, literally the entire world has watched at least some of my videos and have commented. 
And I've had so many people who have sent me things, and I've had companies who have sent me things, and I have other companies who write me all the time asking me to display things on the channel. But I only display things on the channel that I find that are suitable or fitting for you guys that watch. So I'm happy to say the company Mountain Warehouse, uh, you, you've seen me wear, those, wear their clothing and use a lot of the products that Mountain Warehouse sells. Uh, they make good products, you know, and, and the prices are very affordable. And uh, I find like, like this knapsack here, I have a lot of knapsacks home. And I have three or four from Mountain Warehouse actually. But this one particular one here, uh, it's a 50 liter. It's called a high 50 liter. And it just, for whatever reason, it seems to, to cover all the bases. And this is my favorite pack sack. And you've seen me give away these before in contests. Uh, so Mountain Warehouse uh, reached out to me and asked if I wanted uh, to give away a couple of these actually uh, for my 20,000 subscriber video. So I am going to give away a couple of these knapsacks. And this to me is, I got mixed feelings about this, but uh, it just seems to be, it, it's evolved this way. Uh, so I had a, a couple companies who uh, reached out to me and wanted to display a logo for my channel on it. And uh, anyway, I developed uh, my logo. I actually, I literally sat down and within an hour, I had, a, I had something in my mind that I wanted to develop. And uh, it basically, you, you know, when I close off my videos, I say, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. So that's what the, the model says. And it has a bunch of stuff displayed on there that kind of represents what I do on my channel from, well, within the four seasons. And you guys have seen me wearing this hoodie or one like this, you know, in the last few videos. And you, I can't count how many people have said, where can I get a hoodie? How can I get a hoodie? And I was, I was just told people, well, I have no idea how to get you a hoodie because I just had two or three come from a company. That's changed. Um, believe it or not, uh, as of today, I'll start up a merchandise store. I can't even believe I'm saying it. And bear with me on this. I've never had a merchandise store before. Uh, but I will put a link in the video description here. I can send you guys a link if you ask me for it. It'll take you to a website and you'll see like hoodies and mugs and and uh, caps and t-shirts and all sorts of things with my logo on it. And you can just go and you can purchase uh, a hoodie just like this or this one. You know, it comes in different colors and I'm not even sure everything's on there yet because it's all so new to me. Uh, also, if you order something I think it's two weeks you get two weeks uh, where you get 15 or 20 percent off of your purchase so uh, go in there check it out please forgive me if there's glitches if there's glitches there I'll uh, fix them up in time now for the contest I tell you what you need to do you need to like this video you need to leave a comment in this video you have to leave a comment uh, and I will pick from the people who like and comment you will receive your very own uh, Mountain Warehouse High 50 liter knapsack. I will send you a hoodie of your color and size uh, free of charge. And by the way, I'm about 190 pounds, close to six feet, and I have an extra large, so you can, you can base your uh, respective size on that. So that's the first chance. If you like and comment on the video, you get a chance for your hoodie and, oh, and a mug too. Sorry, it's three things. You get a, a mug, your hoodie and the knapsack. And to make it even more interesting, if you share this video, then I will pick the same prizes for the person who shares the video. So if you share the video, you'll have another chance to win uh, one of these hoodies, a knapsack and a mug. Anyway, that's it. Good luck to everybody. We're gonna finish off our supper and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful evening. And guys, thanks for tuning in. It does make it uh, interesting to hear from my people all over the world and I really do uh, feel like I know some of you guys and I enjoy it when you tune in and I think Willow likes when people tune in as well you guys certainly comment on her a lot
ready. Willow had a good sleep. Oh, good morning, everybody. That was a good old nap there, boy, I tell you. I slept in a little bit because it was a bit of a wet morning. Not the type of morning where you want to just uh, jump right out of bed and go down the rock again fishing. Uh, I think we'll wait a little bit. Or piggybacks. So, what's that? Or piggybacks. Or piggybacks, yeah, in Melanie's case. So we're just sitting here now enjoying this coffee. We might have a couple of coffee before we get to have breakfast on the go. And we had a good night's sleep. Willow found her spot there and she had a big nap. She has trouble with the stairs. She's not real comfortable with the stairs coming into the camper. It's kind of funny to watch her, actually. But other than that, now it is good and cozy in this truck camper, I guarantee you. It's amazing what you can squeeze in here and you can watch for uh, you can watch for future videos now with this camper being used. And I used it last fall when I was moose hunting and caribou hunting. And that was great for fishing. The great thing is you can just go anywhere you want and park with it and it's, it's done. So we'll get our coffee gone now. We're going to make up some pancakes. We're going to have some homemade maple syrup. Maybe my cousin Kale on them. So thanks again, Kale. Homemade maple syrup. Right from the backyard of Cousin Kale. Well, that's it for this trip guys we're going to hit the road now we got about 250 or close to 300 kilometers before we get home we might try fishing along the way if not it was a good trip anyway we got some fish for our smoker at home maybe one for the cedar plank thanks everybody for subscribing and watching me over the years stay tuned i'm about to go on the road now for about a month i'll film along the way where i can and put up some videos at the same time don't forget to like and comment on this video for your first chance to win those prizes and then share the video for a second chance to win those prizes as well. Hoodie, mug, and knapsack. And of course keep looking for this rascal. <laughs> Until next time guys, take care of each other, get outside, and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time, guaranteed. What a beautiful fish. Oh, oh.